and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sims 4 speed build for you and I know I've talked about this before. I feel like some of the apartments in San Myshuno are just really big and hard to like work with. So what I decided to do was actually pick an apartment and split it into two. The idea being that it's kind of like its own little apartment apartment complex. I know that sounds really silly, but we have like a entranceway here and it leads into two different apartments. So you can either play this by like having a roommate and like you play with a sim in one of them, or you can control multiple sims and just have them kind of locked out of each other's apartments and kind of do gameplay that way. But I feel like it makes these apartments a little more manageable. And honestly, like it took me a while to find an apartment that I liked. They could be split up well to where like both of the apartments will have like windows in both of them. I was going to use another apartment and I realized like one of the apartments wouldn't have any windows because of the way it was constructed. And also something to note here, like <laughs> one of exactly one window in this whole apartment is different than the others. So all of the windows are black except for one of them is white. And honestly, like I feel like I need to talk to somebody at The Sims. Like why? Why did that happen? Like <laughs> Why did it, I feel like it's just torture like to have one window a different color. So I mean like I get that like the facade of the outside of the building is like that but like you're, you're not going to see that very often. I'd rather it all match on the inside but you know what we're going to deal with it when we get to it because I'm actually building one of the two apartments like in this speed build right now and as well as like the entryway here and then the other one I am going to be building on Twitch. Actually at the time of this going up on the channel I think I will literally be building it or like decorating it like right now. <laughs> so if you watch this when it comes out and you want to come <laughs> see me build the other one over on Twitch I should be live right about now. So so that's kind of fun if you, you know, want to see that being done. And here's the thing. I didn't know what I wanted when I started. I feel like I say that a lot, but I actually ended up taking inspiration from kind of like the front door of this apartment. And I really went all in on that, like really bright blue from the door. And I don't think I've really ever used that blue swatch before. I know we have a lot of stuff in the game with it, but I have never really used it because it's such an intimidating color, I feel like. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the color itself, but it's just, I feel like it's difficult to use in interiors, especially like trying to balance the colors properly so it's not like overwhelming and just like really insane looking. So we actually are going to use it and along with like a lot of black and white to help kind of cancel out the really insane blue color. And originally I was going to put the kitchen kind of in that little tiled area but I actually move it to be like right when you walk in the door and I think that made a whole lot more sense. And I actually do end up using that like color block blue wallpaper. I don't know if I've really ever use that wallpaper because again I feel like it's something that's really intimidating because it's such an intense bold pattern and I know that it has like some multicolored swatches as well those I definitely have never used but I thought you know what I'm going to use this in blue now I use it very limited like I don't use very much of it but I do and I think it honestly looks pretty good so you're just gonna have to like trust me like we're gonna get there we're gonna figure it out and I feel like it looks really cute in the end it's very bold like don't get me wrong I feel like this is not going to fit every sims aesthetic like I feel like you might kind of have to have a very particular sim to live here but I think it did come together and I actually end up changing up that like accent wall in the bedroom space there and just doing like two panels of it and kind of almost making it look like an art piece and listen I don't remember exactly when but we do use a bowling picture in here I don't know what it was when I found that picture I don't know if I've ever used it I was like I have to use it I don't know why but it just felt kind of funky kind of interesting like the sim would have been like oh this is a really cool bold print I'm gonna use it kind of thing and so we actually do keep it and I think it actually surprisingly works really well in this space and I did play test it so your sim can do everything they need to do in this apartment and this isn't quite up on the gallery yet so once the other apartment is decorated the whole thing will be put up on the gallery and that'll be under my ID spice and sprinkles all one word all lowercase and down in the descri description oh my gosh I can't talk if you want to see it written out <laughs> but 
like I said, I ended up moving the kitchen over here and I think it looks a lot better. It's a little less cramped and it kind of gave me something to do with this space. And you can see that I actually ended up adding some windows up there at the top of that wall, kind of looking into the bedroom because I knew I wanted a wall there since it's like right when you walk in the door just to give you some privacy like for your bedroom but it felt just like a really large wall. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of created such a separation because the walls are so tall that I didn't care for it. So adding those windows at the top, I felt like kind of gave it a more open feeling with still having, you know, some privacy for your Sim and your Sims can cook on that counter. I was sure just to use stuff that is technically like wall decoration as to not impede their ability to actually cook on that one countertop. And so interestingly enough, I forgot uh, that I wanted to add a little dining space. So Right now where I'm creating kind of this entrance way with like the mirror and everything, we end up kind of shifting things around and that's where we're gonna have a small dining area. But I don't figure that out until a little bit later when I was like, oh, hmm, I didn't actually put a table in here. Now, obviously that's not necessary since this is only one or two Sims in this apartment. Like they could easily like sit on the couch and eat that kind of thing, but I don't know. I just, I wanted it to have a dedicated like dining area. And we do also have an office space as well. So your Sim should be able to do whatever they need to do and live their best life in the city. And like, let me know, like, is this, you know, something that you like? Do you really like this bold color? Like, should I try another color next? You know what I mean? Like, like, should I make <laughs> make a serious effort to do this? Like, I feel like I almost did like one of those color build like or color single color challenges. I don't know. Like, I think I've done that before, but just I actually did it like intentionally, of course, mixing in a lot of the black and white, which helped a whole, whole lot. Um, like I said, in balancing everything out. And again, just kind of adding those pops of that bright blue color, like to kind of keep that throughout that really nice theming, but trying for it not to be super overwhelming. And I end up using one of these black and white photos. And actually I use some of those like light columns. I don't know what you've called them on the wall, but I thought it looked kind of cool and interesting here. And I use several of the like furry looking rugs in here too. I feel like it also added a little bit of texture given that like, I feel like the black, like black and white builds can be a little bit harsh. So I think that like added texture helps like make it feel a little more cozy and just adding in here a little bit of clutter on those bookcases that we got with the book nook kit, which I really do like those. And I thought it was so funny that it literally had a swatch that was like a white bookcase with blue books. <laughs> so I was sure to use that. And I actually ended up using that like book nook poster like twice in this apartment. I was thinking about using like a diploma or something there on the wall but this sounds really silly but I didn't feel like it matched <laughs> which sounds so ridiculous like if you have a diploma like you're gonna want to put it up whether it like quote matches or not but I feel like in the sims like a lot of times like I and probably other people end up building a little more in this like idealistic space of like everything every little thing is gonna match you know what I mean and not all of my builds are like that but this one just felt like it was going to be and I actually ended up struggling a little bit with what I wanted to put on this wall over here and I actually used one of those funky looking like wall lights like it, it's the metal one with the like the light bulbs on it I don't know you'll see what I mean <laughs> I'm not describing it very well but I don't think I've ever used it and I think it looked really cool like I tried doing the same like light on the wall that I did by the desk but it just didn't like fit super well and then we end up using the dream home decorator couch here because I just felt like you know that would have made a whole lot of sense and I do actually end up swapping it out for like an end piece on the couch and putting an end table over there actually that bright blue poof I forgot I think it came with tiny living and so we end up putting it there like as an end table and we put in just like a plant and that eco lifestyle like basket of like pillows and blankets or laundry or what, whatever you want to consider it to be. And then just adding a, like a little bit more clutter around just to make it feel a little more lived in and a little more cozy. But if you have any suggestions for builds, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a really sweet day. Bye everybody. Where's somebody